hurt. Ah, blah, blah, blah. What I really want to. What I. Oh my. I can't talk. My phone is. Sh ah, shut up, phone. What do you want? Side like they. They're like. Oh, God, I can't talk. Oh God. What's going on? I don't even know. I'm gonna backtrack. Backtrack. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Okay. Um. Good start. Hey. Third video this time, and today I'm feeling kind of both. I woke up and I wasn't exactly sure, and then within 10 minutes I was like, nah, I'm both. I'm male and female today. So today I wanted to talk about the misconceptions, I guess, that people have about gender fluid, and one in particular. A lot of people's arguments against gender fluidity and the actual fact that it exists, exists is that they think that gender fluid people decide what gender they are for that day. What they think is that gender fluid people wake up and they're and they're like, I want to be a guy today, so they go out and be a guy. Or they're like, I want to not have a gender today, so they don't have a gender that day. But that's not true. There is a difference between wanting to be something and actually being something. It's this concept that a lot of people don't understand and don't get, simply because they've never been in that situation. Their argument against gender fluidity is, well, that person just wants to be a guy today, so they're calling themselves a guy when they're not actually a guy. And that's not how it works. It's this sensation I'm starting to realize when I'm feeling a certain gender. I use little tricks to help me out to figure out what gender I am, and it usually has to do with clothing. When I go and I get dressed in the morning, I'll look at my closet as a whole, and I'll be like, do I want to wear a baggy t-shirt today because I'm a guy, or do I want to go more for like a tight tank top because I'm a girl? And it helps me figure out what I'm really feeling inside, and so it lets me express it. That's just something that lets me know, and it's and it shows that I can't just wake up and like, I want to be a girl today, let me wear a dress. Because if I'm not a girl that day, let me tell you, it feels really awkward being in a dress. The story for today is the time that I wanted to be a guy versus the time I was a guy. So the time I wanted to be a guy, it was a Saturday, maybe two weeks ago, and I was going to go volunteer at a dog shelter, and for some reason, I wanted to be a guy that day. I actually had this wanting to go out and be masculine and be treated like a guy. I dressed in guy clothes like baggy t-shirt, long pants, stuff like that, and I sent them a text message and I was like, um, I'm feeling like a guy today, could you try and call me the name I'm going by for a guy? And then I got to the dog shelter and I started helping out and I just felt, I don't know, gross. And it wasn't because of what we were doing with the poop or anything, it was just that I, everyone was calling me this name and treating me, not differently, but treating me like I was more masculine. And it didn't sit well in my stomach. It was this weird, like I didn't, it wasn't actually good for me. Like it was actually hurting me. So by the time I had finished volunteering, I was just, guys, stop calling me that name. That's not who I am anymore. Like I let them know. That's different from actually flowing through gender. So that's a different story, a whole different situation. So that's the time I wanted to be a guy for whatever reason. And this is the time that I actually was a guy. I woke up and I knew I was a guy. It was just one of those, like, I had that sensation. And the cool thing is I actually got my binder, like, the day before. So I was able to wear this tank top binder so that my chest looked flatter. And it was probably, like, 10 o'clock or something. I'm just sitting in my suite with a bunch of my friends, probably six of us. And we were really, really bored. We didn't know what to do. We were like, we gotta do something. So one of my friends came up with the idea for a scavenger hunt. Totally out of the blue, randomly just, let's do a scavenger hunt. Like, yeah, sure, of course not. And then we started thinking about it, and then we're like, no, let's actually do a scavenger hunt. So it's something called a photo scavenger hunt, where you have to go around to different places in your area, or on your campus like I am, and take pictures with certain things. Making up teams and everything, and we had six, um, but we had three girls and three guys, me being a guy in that situation. So throughout the scavenger hunt, I was treated acted and was a guy. I wasn't acting really differently. I didn't change my voice to make it lower or anything. I just let them know I was a guy wore my binder and went out and we did the scavenger hunt. It felt really natural and awesome and good. And it really like made my stomach get happy and warm and like filled up to my chest. It was this really cool sensation because it just they just treated me like a guy. Like I just ran around with them all over campus looking like an idiot taking pictures of me. Just being with everyone. So just having that sensation that I was a guy and everyone reacting to that. Like I had a happy feeling, not that weird icky one I had before. And so 
that's just that's the difference between wanting to be something or a certain gender versus actually being that something or that certain gender. And though it's hard to grasp and understand, there is a difference. And that's why when people talk about transgender people, like female to male or male to female transgender people, they don't understand that it's not a, a wanting or wish to be that other gender. It's actually that person inside knowing that they are not that physical. They don't match their physicality. And it's a really gross, disgusting, like, abnormal feeling in your body. That's just like, ugh. Like, you don't want people to treat you this way, and you don't want to act this way, and you don't want to have to say or do these things because of the gender that you were assigned or that you're supposed to match with. I have experience, I can definitely say that it, my gender fluidity is not a want um, to be a different gender or to change my genders, it's an actual sensation and feeling that I have who I am. When they're like, oh well, she just wanted to be a guy, so she's transgender. Like that's, no, first off you're using the wrong pronouns, oh my gosh, and second off that's not how transgender or trans star anything works. I just wanted to get that out there. I'm actually really free right now with that conversation with myself. See you later, chicas.